it. Kevin Chenard. You are muted. I had another pop up. <laughs> uh, I just wondered what was your overall reaction to being traded to Atlanta? Um, you know, initially I was surprised when I heard the news. I mean, I didn't, you know, wasn't really expecting to be traded, but obviously I didn't think it happened. Uh, but when I did hear, you know, it, it was a exciting feeling, you know, to come be a part of a playoff team who is trying to, you know, make improvements and, and get back into the playoffs, you know, a couple years ago in the Eastern Conference Finals. Um, that's exciting for someone like me. We'll go to Bob Rathbun next. Hey, Mo, welcome to Atlanta. Thank you. Uh, you came in this league a teenager. You were 19 coming into the league. Uh, you're a grizzled veteran now. Uh, this time of year, these young fellas are just getting started out in Vegas. What would what would the uh, 29-year-old Mo Harkless tell the 19-year-old Mo Harkless about what they're getting into? <laughs> just to uh, enjoy every moment, uh, take it one day at a time. And, you know, and, and try and just make the most out of every day with, you know, put your work in and, and, and enjoy it because it goes fast. I mean, that seems like it was yesterday. <laughs> no. Where do you see yourself fitting in with this ball club? Uh, you know, obviously, um, you know, providing some help on a defensive end, you know, and right away. I mean, I think I can definitely help on that side. And then just, you know, also a veteran leadership. Uh, and then and with the dynamic backcourt and then adding DeJounte to that with, with with Trey and then Bogdanovich, I mean, I think I can, you know, help those guys a lot, you know, create some easy buckets for myself for them, playing around them, uh, you know, getting them open, stuff like that, and defensively helping pick up some of the stuff for them as well. Okay, thank you. Next question goes to Lauren Williams. Hi, Mo. Welcome to Atlanta. I'm just curious. Uh, I know it's been a couple of days since things have been official, but what conversations have you had with the front office about how they see you fitting in with this Hawks team? Uh, you know, I mean, so far, it's just I, I honestly haven't even seen anyone in person yet. Uh, it's, it's all been over the phone. And so far, it's just been everyone's. We haven't really talked too much about that stuff yet, you know, in depth. Um, you know, everyone's just excited to have me. Obviously, they know what I bring to the table. So, they're excited to, for me to bring some leadership to, to help on a defensive end um, and, you know, just to, to get in with the guys. I mean, I think as we go, we'll kind of figure out how I fit in best with the team. But right now, I think, you know, it's, it's really just we're still in the introductory phases. For sure. And I guess when you talk about the leadership that you can give this team on defense, I guess, what would you emphasize to this young roster? Um, I mean, I think for, for me personally, I mean, I feel like defense is, is a is a mindset like, you know, we're all athletic, we're all very talented in this league. And I think, you know, it's you, defense is it's hard to do every night because it's it's mentally tough. Um, and I think you got to build that habit from day one of training camp <clears throat> and, uh, you know, just kind of implement that because that's at the end of the day, I feel like that that's what wins games. Um, when your offense isn't isn't clicking, you gotta win those greedy, grinded out games, and that's in defense is how you do it. So, I think just you know, bringing that mindset into this team <clears throat> from day one, and you know, trying to have it rub off on some guys, I think it'll be helpful. Thank you. We'll go to Pat Benson next. Hey Mo, uh, you have a long track record of community activism and leveraging your platform for good. I was going to see if you had any plans on how you were going to uh, implement that now in Atlanta, since you've obviously been in other locations previously. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, Atlanta is a, a place is, that is, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm not, I can't find the right words for this, I'm sorry. Uh, here in Atlanta, I feel like that's a, a, a focal point. So I'm excited to, you know, dive more into that. Obviously, I have to do my own homework and research about what's going on in the communities around here and stuff like that. But I'm definitely excited to get involved with the community. And, you know, that's something that I'm very passionate about. So I'm looking forward to it. Awesome. Thank you. Any other questions for Mo? All right. I'm not seeing any hands up. Oh, we got one more. Lauren Williams, we'll go back to you. Sorry about that. I was just curious, what are you looking forward to most about experiencing Atlanta as a city? Um, the people, man, I've, I've heard nothing but good things about the people here. So I'm, I'm excited to, you know, 
embrace the community and, and, and be a part of it. Um, like I said, I've heard nothing but good things from uh, family, friends, uh, colleagues around the league. Everybody loves it here. So I'm excited to kind of immerse myself into the community. Thank you. Anything else for Mo? Nope. Awesome. Thank you, Mo. Appreciate your time. Thanks, guys.